Well, I think what the message that we should be sending is, and I think it's unfortunate that this message does not go out, is the fact that what Hamas is doing is putting the rocket launchers on the top of residential apartment buildings. They put it within hospital and educational complexes. I don't think that that is something that makes the pictures that you are talking about on the various newspapers throughout the globe. I think instead, as you said, they have instead the pictures of the poor uh, women, children, babies that have died as a result of this conflict. But I will tell you something, the ones who are responsible are not the Israeli Air Force that goes ahead and presses the button on those bombs. The one who is responsible for those deaths are Hamas, who are choosing deliberately to put those innocent civilians in a place to have a, a situation of collateral damage. And that is despicable in my view. First, I think it's important to respond to the lies that were told by your uh, other guest. Now, if Hamas were really putting rocket launchers on the top of residential buildings, I'm sure Israel, with all its drones and all its surve surveillance technology, would be able to provide evidence of that. But instead, what happened yesterday, uh, in fact, on Tuesday, is Ofir Gendelman, the senior spokesman, of uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu put out a video which he claimed showed Hamas firing rockets from next to an apartment building. He put that on Twitter. What did Twitter do? They put a label on it, the kinds of labels they used to put on the tweets of Donald Trump, saying that it was manipulated media and it was in fact a video from Syria taken in 2018 from the city of Dara in Syria that had nothing to do with Gaza. So we've heard all these lies repeatedly, which are designed to blame the victims and absolve Israel from uh, liability for war crimes. And if it were true that Hamas were uh, placing civilians in harm's way, Israel would still be responsible legally for knowingly attacking sites where many civilians were present. So this is a lie that we hear repeated constantly.